Well, hello, hello. Uh, this is Sherry back in the studio today, Monday, and I had did a little teaser post of a photo of this truck full of old bottles. Um, I put that up yesterday morning, I guess. Saturday, I had another all day in the car, so it gave me lots of day daydreaming time, and I was trying to think up ideas of things that I wanted to maybe do uh, for later on in this series. So I got home, grabbed all my old vintage bottles. I have a ton of them. I just love anything old and grungy. And like I said, I have been collecting junk and old things for years and years and years, way before I ever started doing junk journaling. So it's fun to go find all these things that I have that I can now use in this project. So let me put this aside. So I spent the day, let's see, yesterday, then playing with all my bottles. So the first thing I did is, you know, I've been learning how to use my Cricut Maker more, um, Adobe Photoshop I had never used before, Adobe Illustrator. So I've been trying to practice using all those things, and this was kind of a perfect project for it. So I took all of my bottles and I photographed them, and then I removed all the backgrounds um, so that they could be kind of clear again and then put them, started collaging them in Adobe Illustrator. And I just love how they turned out for a background paper. I wanna do some more different collages where I incorporate them with other items, but right now it was just all about bottles, all the things I could do with bottles. So I've, I've done this one without adjusting any of the color. I printed it onto the Hammer Mill 32 pound premium copy paper. Um, and I left the color like it was, this is the original, because I liked all the colors of the bottles that are different ages. And so, you know, even though they all look clear, they all have a different hue underneath. So I just love that. I just kind of stacked them all on the computer and made this collage. And then I also printed it out, um, but I did adjust the color. I printed it out onto vellum and you, I know I can't show them side by side, but um, well, I guess I could if I have another piece of white paper. So, when I hit the automatic um, adjustment, it lightened it up a lot, and I really like how that turned out. Much more clear, very subtle color, but I wanted to show you the two together. So I, I may, when I do offer these, offer them in both versions because um, for different things, I think they're both nice. So this is, again, printed out on vellum after it's been auto level adjusted. So I have those, and then I thought it would be fun to... Um, Practice with, to practice with my piece of paper. This is better to show on a piece of white paper. Then I thought I'd practice with my Cricut. Um, and so I did some, I did a couple of different sizes because you can only fit so many bottles on a print and cut because of the, the little boundary they give you. There's other ways to do it, but I, I did try... Um, to be able to fit as many as I could on an eight and a half by 11. That's a lot harder to get it all lined up to cut because the Cricut maker wants to find that um, black line that it creates. So I went ahead and did it the easy way with the print and cut and just, I did some larger ones. So I have a file for larger ones and then smaller ones. The fun thing about the Cricut, of course I forgot to save one of my ones that I did, is you can adjust the size of all the bottles. So, um, you know, if you want little tiny ones, you can have tiny ones, or I have a reason why I wanted some larger ones that I'll show you, but these are all, I think I have 16 bottles that, that came out. Then I had actually, um, I had actually taken a photograph of this set of bottles lined up, the actual bottles lined up in the photo. So this is not a collage made on online. This is just a lineup of bottles. I thought it might be kind of fun to do that um, as a pocket or a tuck. So I don't know that I'll use it that way, but I just was playing around. So um, I really like how, because they're still kind of clear and see-through, I did them on the vellum, that you can still see the layers of them. So it's perfect for this whole theme of the journal that I'm doing now. These are a little heavier because I took, um, I printed them onto vellum, but then I put them through my laminator and then through my Cricut to cut them out. So they're uh, sturdier, but still see-through so that um, 
they could maybe be a little pocket or a belly band or something. And then I wanted to do some larger ones um, for a specific reason. I had an idea and I wasn't sure this was going to turn out. Um, but I think it I think it came out kind of cute. So I I did the same process, printing it on vellum and then running it through the laminator, then cutting it out and then um, turning it into a little notepad that has a little swivel. So you can see um, I did go ahead and I wanted it to look a little older and more dimensional than than so flat. So I went ahead with my um, vintage photo and did the the edges, you know, and kind of distressed a little bit, and then did the same with the paper. So I just ran some paper through my Cricut um, with the same size bottle, and then used <clears throat> excuse me used my crocodile to attach them together. So I think that turned out okay. It's gonna be a cute little notepad um, that can go in my journal. I do still wanna do some labels, um, you know, apothecary type labels. That may take me a little bit because I don't know that I have any um, vintage ones. We have some antique stores here, so I may try to go find some um, so that I can, you know, create something that I can offer. Um, I don't know, unless somebody tells me, I don't know of resources for things like that that are already available that you can still then turn into your own digital kit and use those. You know, they already belong to someone else. So I, I don't know how that works. So I may just, you know, buy some off of Etsy, put them on my things and then not offer them. Just maybe give you the link to where I found them. I could do that. So I still need to work on some labels. And then I wanted to also turn them into stickers because I, I did all of these, which can be glued on. But um, if they're already as stickers, then that just makes it easier. I had one sheet of, and I don't know where I got it because it's just was in my stash from forever, was I had a, a sheet of vellum sticker paper. And so, like I said, I only had one sheet, so I had one shot at it. But I did... Uh, I did make some, so I'm going to be ordering some more of this, but if I offer them digitally, you know, you'll have to have your own sticker paper to print them on, but, um, so it's just, it was the kind of sticker paper that has, um, is split in the back, so I went ahead and cut these out on my Cricut, so some of them, the paper backing is still on, you know, that you can peel them off, but wherever that line was already cut, when I went to take them off my mat, they wanted to come off. So I had saved, um, this is from my sticker paper that has a full sheet backing. I saved these um, from when I have done the fabric one, just so I have a place to stick stickers uh, when I need when I need that. So these were the bottles that wanted to come off um, of the Cricut because they were, they were not on one piece of backing. So I just, I think those turned out really cute and they can be, you know, added to your journals and layered and because you'd still be able to see through, you know, see through them just like, just like you can these. So I just, I just like how that turned out. So it was a lot of fun. I spent the whole day working on this and um, I have a few more ideas of things I might want to do with some bottles and collaging and things. So um, I'm going to keep at it. And at some point later on in the project, when I'm doing kind of the embellishing and decorating, um, I'll try to be using these and then make them available to you. So have a great rest of your day. Now go make something. Bye.